Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. This is a response to Jay Smith. Your video posted today about uh, honor killings supported in the Quran. First of all, I'd like to say that I respect your intelligence as an individual, but I do not like the fact that you play with other people's intelligence. Oh, I felt this is an opportunity to say it. Well, let us define honor killings. First of all, honor killings is perpetrated by the family of the victim, on the victim, because this person had brought some kind of shame to their family and has heinous that act might be as preposterous as it is it is not supported anywhere in Islam it is perpetrated by a family or a tribe against somebody it is not Islamic it is not supported by the Quran or the Hadith or anything that Muslims stand for so, um, I'd like to also say that if your video were to be your presentation and I were to be the one who's supposed to give you points, to give you marks, or to mark your presentation, I'll give you good points for rightly quoting Surah 18, Ayah 65 to 81, your own points. I'll also give you points for using uh, credible uh, tafsir. Yeah, that's commendable. But I'll mark you down first for not using the hadith to uh, to support your claim or try to find an understanding of these ayats. But um, another thing that will bring your points down is you not researching the main character of these verses which is al Khidr, peace be upon him. What you said was, we don't know who Khidr is. It sounds like some kind of Melchizedek character. That is not scholarly, from my point of view. This is the main character here, but you, don't, you didn't do no research about him whatsoever. So you're gonna, your points will go down for that too. I see if I were to be a professor anyway. But um, you also said, uh, that al Khidr, peace be upon him, came to show Musa how he is to live. No. al Khidr, peace be upon him, wanted to show Moses, peace be upon him, some of the prophetic knowledge that God had bestowed upon him. Hidden prophetic knowledge. That is the purpose for that expedition. Now I'm going to paraphrase the, the Ayah 65-81. They, uh, they got a ride, a boat ride. Musa alayhi salam, Moses peace be upon him, and Al Khidr peace be upon him, from these poor people who owned the boat. They were rowing on the sea, river, whatever, and they got a ride. So when they got to the destination, Al Khidr drew out a plank from the boat, obviously to scuttle the boat. And then Moses, peace be upon him, asked them, is that how you show appreciation to people who just helped you? And that was that. The next thing they saw was the little boy which you talked about in your video. And al Khidr, peace be upon him, killed the boy. And Moses, peace be upon him, asked again, why, why would you uh, kill an innocent person? You're meeting him for the first time and all that. So, why would you kill somebody who uh, has done no wrong whatsoever? And he explained to him that he needs to be patient. So, where they went further and they saw uh, they go to a town and they asked these people for refreshments, food, and drinks. And these people denied them. 
And they went further on in the town, and they saw this uh, wall that was about to collapse. And the wall was put right by al Khidr, peace be upon him. So, here, he began to explain the things that he had been doing in the recent past. The reason why he's cuddled the boats was because he felt, sorry, because he knew from his prophetic knowledge that there was a king, more like a pirate king, a pirate king, somewhere on the ocean, who was waiting on boats to pass by so that he can rob them and take their possessions. So he, he knew that if these poor people had gone there, they would have lost their boat and everything that they had to this king. But if he, if he had uh, scuttled their boats and had them men sit back and mend their boats, the king would have gone away before they pass where he's at. So pretty much that was his own way of showing his appreciation for what they did uh, for them. The next thing was the uh, the boy, which you talked about. From his prophetic knowledge, prophetic knowledge, not what the boy had done, not what the boy uh, uh, was threatening to do, but what the boy will do. It will surely happen. He will oppress his parents and cause them to disbelieve. That is the reason why he killed the boy. Because he knows or he knew that the boy will turn on his parents and lead them astray. Now before I go further to explain the rest of the verses, I probably won't even do that. But this is the important part. How many people who commit, who perpetrate on the killings say that they have a prophetic knowledge? of the future of a particular victim before they killed him or her mostly her how many people can claim that they have prophetic knowledge of the future before they can perpetrate such you know uh, uh, a heinous uh, act none there is no way that you can impose this on the Quran nice try but it's not working this here is a story about knowledge, prophetic knowledge. And the reason for this is because the people of Israel asked Moses, who is the person with the most knowledge? And instead of ascribing the all-knowing to God, he said he was the one with the most knowledge. And this is why God wanted to test him with this uh, event that took place. You don't even know some of the things that al Khidr, peace be upon him, knows. So how could you be the one with the most knowledge? This by no means supports honor killing by anybody. Not all Muslims perpetrate such acts. There are certain societies that have that idiosyncrasy. It has nothing to do with the Ummah. And you know this, Jay. I know that you know it. There are people who are not as intelligent as others. There are some people who just like to be spoon-fed with, not, with, with uh, information. And you have done well in deceiving those ones. The ones who will do a research, they will know that you have pointed them, pointed them in uh, a wrong direction. Which I think is very unscholarly and very unfair. I think you uh, put up your channel for a dialogue, debate, whatever you want to call it. Not to uh, put out spurious facts out there. This is just my uh, two cents. Thank you.